PayPal so we can keep on the air. Justin Trudeau, Sophie, separated. Not news to anybody who's been around political circles. And everybody feels badly for them. No question about that. And when they announced that, they said, respect our privacy. Two days later, you see the prime minister with a young man seeing Barbie. A few days after that, prime minister with his daughter seeing another movie. Well, Brian Lilly writes for The Sun, very, very on top of these things. And it just seems to me the height of hypocrisy to be saying, give us privacy and putting out selfies. It sounds like, oh, who, who does it sound like? Harry and Meghan? <laughs> does it? Uh, uh, oh, yo, let's go on Oprah and uh, tell everybody that the queen is a racist. But we want privacy. Yeah, give us our privacy, but listen to our podcast, buy our book, uh, watch our documentary, subscribe to this, subscribe to that. Look, when Justin Trudeau announced that he and his wife were separating, which, by the way, I, you know, every person in the media that covers Ottawa has inquired about this over the years, and you've got right. various answers, and no, marriage is hard, and things are, you know. No okay. surprise to anybody. In fact, they have, they have alluded to problems. But, you know, I don't believe the, the claims that they were separated for the last two or four years or whatever. They, you know, had bumpy Not patches. All the time. Sure, but they announced that they're separating. They asked for the privacy specifically for the kids. And then he's tweeting photos and, and posting to Instagram of photos of his son, at Barbie with his daughter at Oppenheimer? Well, pick a lane. Have it one way or the other. A lot of us said, myself included, give the unelected. You know, the elected guy? Sure, have at him. But leave the unelected folks alone. This is a private matter. Justin Trudeau, though, wants us talking about his private life so that we're not talking about the fact that, okay, yeah, inflation's at 2.8% because gas prices fell, but food inflation is at 9% plus percent, mortgage inflation is at 30%, uh, the, the, the housing crisis Oof. is going insane, immigration is, is not going the way it should be. All of these problems that are the federal government responsibility, he doesn't want to talk about. He wants us talking about, is Him. he going to Barbie? Is he going to Oppenheimer? So is that, a, you're saying it's a diversion away from his failures and policy and bad decisions, but there's another alternative. It's just that his ego is just so big he has to be out there front row and center. You've seen oh. him into the crowds, everybody with the selfies. That's what he does best, he, take pictures. Sure, but he's also trolling us, much like Donald Trump does. Like, the, the comparisons between Justin Trudeau and Donald Trump are incredible. I've said and, that before, and, and you're going to get a lot of press about this because people are going to go nuts. Trump trolls people on social media. Trudeau trolls people on social media. Both of them have a base that believes their man can do no wrong, that they are, you know, so Jake Tapper, I think, got it right when he called them true and on. <laughs> Brian Lilly, and he doesn't troll anybody, but read his columns in the sun. Three minutes. Liberties and freedom of speech are under attack in Canada like never before. So let's keep this discussion on the air. PayPal, write a check, and please include your address so I can write a thank you letter to you. And ask your friends. Please subscribe. It's important to keep this on the air. And thank you.